come before you today. And there is one thing that I want to say. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For all you've given to me. For all the blessings that I cannot see. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. When I pray for hearts, when we song of praise, with an outstretched arm, I'll bless your name. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All you've done in my life, you took my darkness and gave me your light. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You took my sin and my shame. You took my weakness and healed all my pain. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. With a grateful heart, with a song of praise, with an astray charm, I'll bless your name. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Hello everyone, how you can see, it's a beautiful day. Uh, the Bible says that we should come into His presence with thanksgiving, we should rejoice in His presence. So that is why I came in today with, you know, rejoicing and blessing the name of the Lord for giving us the privilege to see a new day, to see a new month, not by our homemaking, not because of anything we've done, but because of His great love and mercy towards us. May His name may alone be glorified and be exalted through all eternity in Jesus' name. Thank you for joining me, our uh, viewers. Uh, God bless you. Happy new month to you. Happy new month of February. Uh, and it is my um, it is my desire for you and I that the great the same grace that have sustained us to see this day, that have taken us to this day, we see us through. The grace of God will be sufficient to see us through how this month and for the rest of our life in Jesus' name. Before we continue, let's have a word of prayer together. Our precious Lord and Heavenly Father, we bless your name so much for this beautiful day, a day that you have made. We rejoice and we are glad in it, O Lord. Thank you. We are not here by our own making. We are not alive because we, we desire to be alive. We are alive because of your mercies. The book of Lamentations says that it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not concerned. Thank you for your faithfulness, O Lord, that's, that remained forever of our life. Thank you for your steadfast love. Be thou glorified in Jesus' name. Bless this time we're going to spend together and be glorified in every life in Jesus' name. Thank you for the answer prayer. For in Jesus' glorious and mighty name, we pray and we receive. Amen and amen. God bless you. 
Thank you for joining me. Happy New Month to you and your house. And I believe God that you've been doing well. You've been keeping yourself safe. You've been doing all you can do on your own part, you know, to keep yourself healthy and to keep yourself safe. You know, at this moment, at this trying time in our, our world, and I believe in God. He that dwelleth in the sacred place of the Most High, that we, were, we shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. The grace of God will be sufficient for you and for me throughout this time and for the rest of our life in Jesus' name. No evil will come near our dwelling, no sickness, no virus, no, no deadly attack will be for you and your house. It will not be for me and my house also in Jesus' name. Welcome again to this uh, program. And um, I'm your host, Sister Tobi Tope. So it is my pleasure to be here again. God bless you. As we spend time together, I feel that we shall all be blessed in Jesus' name. Without much ado, let's go into what the Lord has for us. You can see the spirit with which I enter into the program today is a spirit of rejoicing, of thanksgiving. And that is the expectation of God for us. Because if I read from the book of Psalm 100, Psalm 100 from verse 4, it says, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praises. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For his Lord, for the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth through all generation. Hallelujah. His truth, his mercies, and his faithfulness is what has kept us till now. Not by our making. Those that are gone, we are not better than them. We are not holier. We are not richer. We are not beautiful. We are not handsome. We are not better than them in any sense. It is of the Lord's mercy that we are here. And I pray. That the same mercy will continue to sustain us and will continue to rejoice because that is the encouragement of the Lord for us that we should continue to rejoice in Him. In all things, we should continue to give, give Him thanks because this is the desire of God through Jesus, in, you know, through Christ Jesus our Lord. We should continue to rejoice and celebrate His goodness every day, every time, in every season, in good times, in bad times, in good health and in bad health, in every situation, in the times of scarcity, in the times of abundance, in every situation. We should always give thanks. And as we thank Him with all our heart, as we rejoice in His presence always, as we give Him praise for all that He has done, as we are thanking Him ahead of all that we believe He's going to do in our life, we'll continue to do marvelously, gloriously, and abundantly in our life in Jesus' name. God bless you. So the topic for us today uh, is a new day. And it's a new dawn. It is a new dawn. Hallelujah. So this month is a new month. This day is a new day. It's a day we have never experienced before. It's a month we have never experienced before. So irrespective of what has been happening in the past, it is a new day. It's a new chapter concerning the story of our life. It's a new month. God has just given us a blank check now for the new month. So it's up to you what to write there. It is up to me what I write there. So I pray that you'll be wise enough, you'll be smart enough to write it. Because there is nothing you can write in it. There is no... No, no, no need. There is no request that you can write in it that will make everyone to be bankrupt. I say that again, that there is nothing you can feel in it. That doesn't mean you are greedy. This is your heavenly father, the maker of heaven and heart. The one that has the whole world in his hand that is giving you a blank check in form of a new month. All you need to do is to enjoy it to the fullest and write there. You take your time and reflect it very well. Everything that you are expecting for good this month, Rejoicing, celebration, thanksgiving, you know, good health, sound mind, breakthrough, favor of the Lord, divine protection, everything. Help from above. Help even from where you least expect it. Every good thing that your heart desires, begin to write them now. This is the blank check because it's a new month. And if you believe it, so shall it be for you, Jesus. So whatever you write in it, you will receive. Whatever. So I'm telling you today now that God is giving you a blank check in form of a new month, which is the month of April. And this month will not end without the Lord fulfilling every desires of the children, you know, of the of our hearts. Heaven will supply every need according to your wishes and will by Christ Jesus in Jesus' name. God will supply every of our desires. He will meet every need and he will satisfy every longing in every heart in Jesus' name. Amen. It is, it is a wonderful opportunity, but it's up to you how you use this opportunity, this marvelous and wonderful opportunity that is the Lord is giving to you and I. If you are not conscious of it before, I'm telling you now that this is a new month, it's a new dawn, it's a new day. It is a new beginning, it's a new dawn, it's a new era. In the sense that this is a new beginning. The whole is past. Yesterday is gone. Last week is gone. Whatever experiences that we have in the past is gone. This is a new beginning. And I pray that God will give you the wisdom to use it. You know, to the fullest, so that the name of the Lord will be glorified through your life, through my life in Jesus' name. I read also from the book of Psalm 107, 
I read from verse uh, 30, oh, 30, 31 first. Psalm 107, 31. He says, Oh, that men will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Oh, that men, oh, that you and I will praise the Lord. Oh, that you and I will lose sight of, you know, the things that is happening in the world that is not right. Let's lose sight of it and focus on the Lord that has spared your life and that has spared my life and that I have planned. This God has planned for you and I. He has good plan. He has good thoughts. According to the book of Jeremiah 29, 11, said, I know the thoughts I have concerning you. They are not of death. They are not of evil. They are not of sickness. They are not of virus. They are not of, you know, any negativity. They are of good and not of evil to give you a hope and an expected end. And this day, this month, the Lord is telling you that all that men, irrespective of what you are hearing and what you are seeing, all that you will walk by faith and you begin to praise me. All that men will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Verse 29 says, He maketh the storm a calm. Hallelujah. The Lord maketh the storm a calm, so that the waves thereof are stilled. Hallelujah. So God is able to steal the storm and to calm every waves, every raging waves in our life, every raging waves in our world, in our community, in our society, in our family. God is able. If only we can begin to praise his name. If only we can begin to rejoice and celebrate his goodness in our life. We can begin to thank him for all that he has done for us. For the things we can see and the things we cannot see. All that we can walk by faith and begin to bless the name of the Lord ahead of all that he has in store to do for us. All that men will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Verse 36 says, And there, and there he maketh the hungry. The Lord maketh the hungry to dwell, that they may prepare a city for habitation. Hallelujah. He maketh the hungry to dwell, so that they will prepare a city for habitation. And so the fields and plant vineyards, which may yield fruit of increase. He blessed them also, so that they are multiplied greatly and suffer not their cattle to decrease. God is saying in this month, it will cause us to dwell and it will bless all our, 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 our the work of our hand greatly. He said it will multiply us and suffer not any of our cattle to decrease. It will not suffer any member of our family to decrease. It will not suffer our accounts to decrease. Instead, we'll be surprised how, you know, instead of going into deficit, we'll still be surprised how God will be, begin to add divine increase into our life, into our, our, our process, into our, our finances in the name of Jesus. It will not suffer our health. It will not suffer our stature. I know that the young lions those lack and suffer hunger, but those that trust in the Lord, they will never lack any good thing. So in this, in the midst of all this, in this new month, God is telling us that they will suffer not any of our that cattle to decrease. We will not suffer our family to decrease. In the mighty name of Jesus, I read from verse forty-one. He said, "Yet set the e the poor on high from affliction and make it in families like a flock." Hallelujah. So God says that He sets the poor on high from every form of affliction. And make him families like a flock. So if you are saying, Oh, I'm living alone, I'm lonely, I'm yet to be married, or I'm married, I don't have children and all that. But here, this is the promise of God for you for this new month, which you should be writing. You now, like I said initially, I said it's a blank check that God is giving you. So you can write this promise in it and tell God, and tell God, say, God, you are the one that said yes. You said you said the poor on high from affliction and make him. So you begin to say, God, make me families like a flock, if that is your desire. If that is part of the world, you want to fill him. You want to fill in your blank check this year, in this month. He said, you make my family to be like a flock. That the righteous shall see it and rejoice, and all iniquity shall stop her mouth. Whoso is wise and will observe these things, even they shall understand the loving kindness of the Lord. How I wish you will be wise. How I wish you and I will be wise enough to observe all these things that we will praise the Lord. The Bible says that if only we are wise, say, whoso is wise will observe these things. Even they shall understand the loving kindness of the Lord. I pray that the Lord will give us understanding. We will understand His loving kindness. We will understand His mercies. We will understand His goodness. It's not it, that all these things, the loving kindness of the Lord, is not because of anything we have done. His mercy is not as if we merit it. His grace is not as if we merit it. We are thanking, we are rejoicing, even as we enter into today, we enter with praises and with thanksgiving. Thanking the Lord for all that He has done for us. He has taken away our sins, He's taken away our shame, He has healed all our diseases. And if there's any diseases that are yet to be healed, the Lord is promising you that this month, if only you can rejoice, if you are wise enough to rejoice and celebrate His goodness and thank Him for all that He has done so far, then He will do marvelously. And He will make you to understand His loving kindness throughout this month, for the rest of the year and for the rest of your life, in Jesus' name. I hope that you will be wise. Because whosoever is wise, 
and we observe these things that you will praise the Lord. If you are wise enough, and you will, you know, you will, you will set your mind, you know, on the things, you know, that you know that glorifies God. You will set your minds on the things that honors God. You will walk with God by faith this month. You will begin to see with the eyes of faith. You will begin to walk with God. You know, with the, you know, you begin to reason with the mind of God Himself. Then you will begin to see God doing marvelously, doing gloriously, open doors that no man can shut. Again, you know, for you and not against you. And you know, God is the one that opens the door where nobody can shut it. And this month, like I said, the blank check is God is opening new, you know, He's making all things new. He's making everything new. He's making it a new day. He's making everything new. And He's going to do marvelously in every life, in every family, and in every situation. Even in your business, concerning your health, concerning your career, in every aspect of your life, God will bring about a new dawn, a new beginning. In the mighty name of Jesus. I read from the book of Isaiah. I read from Isaiah 55, from verse 12 to 13. Isaiah 55, 12 to 13. He says, For ye shall go out with joy. In this month of February, the word of the Lord is coming unto you. Like if you can praise the Lord, if you can rejoice in his presence, if you can thank him, if you can, you know, walk with him by faith and not by sight. God says that the just shall live by faith and not by sight. If you can do all these things, then this shall be your testimony. He says, For ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the fir tree, and instead of the brow shall come up the myrtle tree, and it shall be to the Lord for a name, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. And amen, and amen to that. I hope you have just said amen to that. It shall be an everlasting covenant unto the Lord, an everlasting sign that shall never be cut off. Cut off. So this month we shall go forth. You know, we shall go out with joy every single day, whether you are in, whether you are house, whatever situation. You know, there are some of us that are still going out, going to, you know, you know depending on the nature of their job. In, in, when you are in, when you are out, right, so that you will go forth with joy and we shall be led. You know, this month, heaven is leading us with peace. That is why we are, we, are, we are to rejoice and celebrate the goodness of the Lord in our life. Even for the things that are yet to be done, but we can see it with the eyes of faith. Men will say that you should see it first and begin to thank God. But God is saying that begin to rejoice in my presence first. Then when you begin to rejoice, then I'll begin to make it to make everything new. I'll begin to make, you know, when, when you begin to rejoice in my presence, you begin to give thanks unto me. For especially for taking away your shame and your reproach and your sicknesses and your, you know, and your forgiving your sins. Even when you are unloving, I still love you. Then if you begin to do this, then you will, the Lord will leave you forth. We leave you and I forth with peace. And our mountains and our hills shall break forth before us into singing. Hallelujah. All the trees of the field shall clap their hands before us. So not only you that will be rejoicing as you are rejoicing, even the nature will join you in rejoicing with the Lord. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that wonderful? That even as you rejoice in the Lord, as I rejoice in the Lord this month, the Bible says that even nature will join us, birds of the air will join us, trees of the you know, of, you know, you know, flowers of the field will join us. Trees in the world, in the forest, they will join us to rejoice and celebrate the goodness of the Lord. And as we all rejoice, we begin to see God, you know, being glorified. We begin to see God, you know, manifesting His power and His glory in the midst of all men in Jesus' name. And so shall it be for us in Jesus' name. It's not possible for us to be rejoicing in the Lord and God will not look upon us, you know, with His kindness. I pray that as we rejoice in the Lord, as we celebrate His goodness, as we obey His voice, as we thank Him, even when we cannot even see Him walking, you know, God is always walking behind the scene. But because we can't see him, the only is not working. If you can thank him, even though you cannot see him, then you begin to see the glory and the manifestation of the goodness of God in your life and in my life in Jesus' name. I read from Leviticus 26, verse 4. It says, Then I will give you rain in due season, and the land shall yield an increase, and the trees of the field shall yield their fruit. Hallelujah. So the, the trick here, the trick here is that you need to praise the Lord. He said, Then if you rejoice in my presence, you should thank me. All that men will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works. Like I said, irrespective of what we're seeing around us, in, in spite of everything that is happening around us, all that men will praise the Lord. All that men will still, they will praise the Lord and people are wondering, are you crazy? Can't you hear what is going on in the news? And they say, oh, oh sorry, I can't hear what is going on in the news because all I can hear is the sound of rejoicing, the sound of praises, hallelujah. That is what I can hear because that is what I want to set my mind upon. That is what the Bible is instructing me. That is what the voice of the Lord is telling me this season. That's that you begin to praise the Lord. 
And in the midst of all things, you remember the story of you know King Yoishofat? When they begin to praise the Lord, then the enemy begin, God begins to lay an ambush against the enemy. The enemy begins to kill themselves. They begin to turn against themselves. That is what God can do when we decide to praise Him. When we decide to rejoice in the Lord. When we decide to, to bless His holy name. To, to say, Lord, we thank you. In every situation, we give you praise. We honor you. We adore you. We magnify your name. We lift your name and our Lord. And we exalt you, Lord, because you alone are God. In every situation, Lord, we declare you as God. We declare you as the mighty man in battle, as a great I am. The one that faileth not, the great I am. The one that lieth not, the one that changeth not, O Lord. You are the God that remaineth the same forever. The over Shama, the over Nisi, the over Elohim, the over Rafa. Almighty Father, that is who you are. We begin to bless him and begin to call him and begin to rejoice in his presence. He said, if only we can do this. If only we can do this. He said, he said he would, then we will go and we give. The Lord will give our rain. He give us rain in due season. And the land shall yield an increase. And the trees of the field shall yield a fruit. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. And your threshing feet shall reach unto the vintage. And the vintage shall reach unto the sowing time. Hallelujah. And we shall eat our bread to the full and dwell in our land safely. In the mighty name of Jesus. And this, the, the, in verse 6, and I will give peace in the land. And ye shall lie down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And none shall make you afraid in the name of Jesus. I take that place again. And he said, he said, I will give peace in the land. God said he will give peace in our land if we can praise him. If we can celebrate his goodness and rejoice in his presence. He said he will give peace in our land. And we shall lie down. And none shall make us to be afraid. And I will read evil beasts out of the land. Neither shall the sword go through our land. In the mighty name of Jesus. I, and, and we shall chase our enemies. And they shall fall before us by the sword. In the mighty name of Jesus. And so shall it be for us in Jesus' name. So once again, the encouragement of the Lord for us today is that we should enter. Because it's a new day. It is a new dawn. Let's rejoice in the Lord. Let's walk by faith and not by sight. Let's see with the eyes of faith. Let's trust God with, you know, for who he say he is. He is the God that makes a way where there is no way. He is the God that turns the water of Mara, this bitter water. He brings about sweetness unto it. Hallelujah. So he can still do it again. He said if we can rejoice and celebrate his name, he said he will make our, our land. You know, there will be no more. He will make our land to be at peace. There will be peace in our land. We will lie down in peace and nothing shall make us to be afraid. Isn't that amazing? Is that not what you need at this time? That nothing will make us to be afraid. No news will come to make us to be afraid. And he will read evil beasts out of our land. He will read our land of every form of evil. No evil will be recorded concerning us. No calamity, no sorrow, no shame, no sickness, no danger, no accidents. You know, sin and unseen will be our portion in the name of Jesus. So all we need to do as we head time to this month is Rejoice in the Lord. Celebrate His goodness. Bless His holy name. Magnify the Lord. And exalt His name. Rejoice so that as you rejoice, your rejoicing will be contagious. Rejoice so that as you rejoice, nation will join you. Rejoice as you rejoice so that your neighbors will hear your voice of rejoicing and begin to knock on your door. You say, oh, sorry, I might not be able to open the door to you, but this is what is happening here. I am rejoicing. The sound of rejoicing will be so loud. And they will have no choice to begin to rejoice with you. That is what the Lord is encouraging us to do this month. That is what he's encouraging us to do even as we enter into the new month. That is what he's encouraging us to do because it is a new day and it is a new dawn. And if you can believe it, the Bible says that, Blessed is he that have not seen, but that believe it. And as we believe the Lord, we will begin to see the manifestation and the glory of the Lord in our lives, in our families, in our communities, in our nations, and in our world, the glory of the Lord will be revealed. Like that of the latter day, the glory of the Lord will be revealed more than even the latter day in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be for us in Jesus' name. So I encourage you today, rejoice and celebrate the goodness of the Lord. Thank Him for all that He has done for you. Thank Him for all that He's doing for you. And bless His name for all that He will continue to do. Be thou magnified in our midst, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. I hope you've been inspired, and I hope that you have been encouraged. And I pray that you rejoice in the Lord. God will continue to give you reason to rejoice. 
God will make sound of rejoicing not to cease in your family and not to cease in your life in Jesus' name. Songs of rejoicing will not cease in our land in the mighty name of Jesus. As we rejoice together, as we encourage others to rejoice, we will see that our voice will subdue every voice of mourning. It will subdue every voice of, you know, crying and weeping. You know, and gnashing of teeth, our voice will subdue them. And other people will join us as we rejoice. And as we rejoice, God will make peace to reign in our land. God will make peace to reign in our families. God will make peace to reign in our, our, in our homes. God will make peace to reign in our businesses. Peace will reign in every situation. In the church of God, there will be peace. In our nation, there will be peace. In every aspect of our life, over our health, there will be peace. Over the life of our children, there will be peace. In our marriages, there will be peace. Over everything that we set our hearts upon, everything that we set our mind upon, there shall be peace of the Lord in Jesus' name. Blessed be your name, O Lord. God bless you, and I encourage you, if you're watching me, that you are here to give your life to Jesus, I encourage you, today is the best time. Today is the best time for you. Surrender your love to Jesus. Surrender your heart to Jesus. And as you surrender your heart, he will come into your heart. He said, I knock, I stand at the door. Behold, I stand at the door and I knock. If anyone will open unto me, he said, I will come in. I will die with you. I will eat with you. I will live within you. And I will reign in your life. And through you, I will reign. So that you too will begin to reign on my behalf in the land of the living in Jesus. If you want to give your life to Jesus, close your heart and let us take a uh, simple prayer together. And you pray by faith. Because without faith, no one can see the Lord. Let's pray together. Close your eyes. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. I believe it's a new day. And I want you to make everything new in my life. I surrender my heart to you today. I acknowledge you as my Lord and my Savior. I ask for forgiveness of my sin. Forgive me of all my sins. And give me the grace to sin no more. Write my name in the book of life. So that when you shall come, and even while I'm still here, give me the grace to reign with you now and draw an eternity. Thank you for the answer prayer. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen and amen. I rejoice with I rejoice with you today. You've just surrendered your life to Jesus. And I pray for you that the grace for you to be steadfast in your work with God, the grace for you to say no more, heaven will release upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. I encourage you to begin to spend time in the word of the Lord. Find time to study the word. Because as a newborn child, as a newborn baby, because you are just being born again, in the, in, the, in, 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 the, in the kingdom of God, you're a newborn baby. You need milk to feed upon, and the milk is the word of God. I pray that you will find time, you will meditate upon the word of God. You have to study it first before you can meditate. And as you open the scripture, the Holy Spirit will move our right, and we give the word interpretation in your heart in Jesus' name. And I encourage you also to join me here regularly. You know, I'll be coming here as the Lord gives the grace. And as you join me regularly with other brothers and sisters in faith, you know, across the world, as we join our faith together here, I pray that the Lord will, will bless you. The Lord will minister to you. He will minister to your need. And He will make everything concerning you will make it new. He will bring about a new beginning concerning the story of your life. And there shall be a new day. And there shall be a new dawn in your life. To the glory of his name in Jesus' name. Once again, thank you everyone for being a part of today's video. I hope you've been blessed. If you have been blessed, can you do me a favor? Like, share, and comment below how you are blessed. And remember, if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, consider subscribing. And click the bell button so that you'll be able to know. That's the notification button. You'll be able to know whenever I upload a new video. And I, I pray that as you join me here, each and every one of us, Holy Spirit will continue to nourish us, will continue to, you know, continue to make us to grow the more in the knowledge of God in Jesus' name. God bless you. I look forward to seeing you very soon in my next video. Remember, I love you. Jesus loves you more. And always rejoice and celebrate His goodness in your life. And I pray that the reason to continue to rejoice will never cease in your life. And as you rejoice in the Lord, no one will knock on your door to weep or to comfort you over any situation this year and for the rest of your life in Jesus. Because as you rejoice, when others will come to visit you, they will come and rejoice with you for the rest of your life in Jesus' name. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. God bless you. Bye-bye.